So the next thing we need to do is to fit our diodes to the keyboards. Um, so these are the diodes, they come usually on a strip like this. You can buy them in small quantities, um, but you don't really want to do that. You, you want to buy um, you know, a decent quantity on a strip. They are much, much cheaper to buy them that way. You can buy them from um, companies like RS Components, uh, Farnell Electronics, uh, all of these guys you can find on the internet if you just do a quick Google search. Now these diodes, um, they have a part number or a type number um, and the, these little ones are, uh, the, their number is 1N for November 4148. They're very, very, very common. They turn up in absolutely everything. Um, and when you buy them like this, I wouldn't expect to pay more than about a penny each for them. So um, if you, you, you can buy them from places like Maplin um, and, and sort of high street outlets like that. Uh, but they do tend to sell them in smaller quantities and they're far more expensive. So the thing to do is to um, have a look on the internet and, and buy them you know, in a reasonable quantity. Now we need to put one on every key uh, and one on every stop and one on every pedal. So if you add all that up, 61 keys on each keyboard, um, there are two of those, so that's 122. Uh, there are 30 pedals, so we're up to 152. Uh, and I don't know how many stops there are because I can't remember, but there's probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 stops, possibly more than that. So you're looking at needing a couple of hundred of these little diodes um, to do the job. So you may as well buy a decent quantity um, in one go and make it cheaper. Now if you look at these diodes closely, uh, you'll notice that one end has a black band around it um, and, and there are some black bits further down but that's just the writing where it, it says one end 4148 uh, and that goes all the way around the diode but one end is, is clearly marked with a black band um, and that is the uh, the positive end of the diode if you like so looking at them this way the electricity will flow from left to right so it'll go in the left hand end of the diode, it'll come out the right hand end, but it won't go the other way around. This, so um, the electricity can't go in the right hand side and come out the left hand side. So putting the diode physically um, against our symbol that we had on our um, little drawings earlier, the, um, the arrow, if you like, shape of it is pointing from left to right. The, the black band is the flat piece across uh, on our little diagram of the diodes that we had earlier. Now, when we put these diodes onto our keyboards, onto our keys, uh, it doesn't actually matter which way round they go, uh, as long as they're all the same way round. So we can have them with all of the black bands facing um, sort of up, if you like, into the bottom of our keys here, or we can have them with all of their black bands facing down. Um, it doesn't matter, because we can tell our encoder, when we configure it later on, um, which way round they are. But it does matter that they're all the same. You can't have some facing towards the keys and some facing away from them, because if you do, it simply won't work. Okay, now we mentioned earlier that the bottom keyboard already has some diodes attached to the keys, um, and we can see these along the bottom here quite clearly, as we looked at earlier. Um, and we can just about see on the video that the black band is in fact at the bottom. So these are all facing away, if you want, from the keys. It does look, it's a bit confusing in the picture, because um, it does look black at the top end as well, but there's actually a band around the bottom. Now, if you're not sure um, about how or which way around these diodes are, if you've already got diodes on yours, um, there's one other thing we can do to make absolutely sure if you can't see them very well, um, and that is to use a test meter. So this is my test meter. Um, these are very, very cheap. This one uh, came from eBay. It was less than £10, but they're very, very useful. Um, there's a whole bunch of different settings all the way around, and you can turn the switch to select whichever one you want. Um, and then there are two test wires that plug into the thing. Um, on mine, I've just got little crocodile clips on the other end. So the setting we need to test our diodes with um, if it will focus for me, is this one here. It has a, a little diode symbol um, and it also has like a little speaker symbol underneath. Uh, and that's there because when, when that is selected, if you touch the leads together, it will make a, a noise uh, and you can see the display. My leads are a bit... there we are. 
um, you can see the display goes down to uh, 0.01, 0.00, .00 and that's actually measuring ohms, which is the unit of electrical resistance. And we can use this to test our diodes with. Um, so we've got a black lead and a red lead plugged into the meter. Uh, the red lead plugs into the, um, the, the top plug here, which, is, which shows a little bit of red on it anyway. Um, but the important one is the black lead plugs into the, uh, the socket labelled COM, which is for common. Um, so the common or the COM always goes to the black lead. Now, the red lead, as you might expect, um, has... Uh, power on it which comes from the meter and the black lead doesn't so if we want to test our diode remembering that it only flows one way round if we connect the red lead to one side of the diode and the black lead to the other and it's the right way round then you can see that our meter is reading 760 ohms um, now that's with the quite hard to get it to show on the video here but with the red lead connected to the left hand side um, of the diode and the right lead connected to or the black lead connected to the right hand side uh, and that's the side with the little black ring round it so at the moment we've got our diode uh, or our arrow in our diagram is facing from left to right and the black ring is on the right hand side of the diode uh, which is how we know that that's the case now if we reverse these leads so that they're the wrong way around. Um, the meter doesn't show anything, it just says one, which is the same as what it says when it's not connected to anything. So that's how we know which way around the diodes are. So if we go back to our um, diodes on the keyboard, and I just need to move the camera to do that. Okay, so um, looking at our diodes on our keys again now, just to make double sure which way round they are, if we connect the red lead to the top of our diode and the black lead to the bottom. You can see the meters reading 763, 762, so we know that that diode is facing away from the key if you want. So the top is the left hand side of our arrow and, and the bottom is the right hand side um, com compared to what we were looking at before. So that's how you can test uh, which way the diodes are if you have any trouble in seeing them or, or if they're covered up or anything like that.